also known as the Big Island. Ho'olave, better known as the Bombed Island, the island under restoration. Mysterious, mystical, magical Maui. Lanai'i, better known as the Pineapple Island. Molokai, the Friendly Island. Oahu, better known as the Gathering Place. Hawaii, the Garden Isle. Niihau, the Forbidden Island. There are eight Hawaiian islands. Five of them are pretty well known, pretty popular. There are two that it's next to impossible to get to. One is Koho'olawe, the bombed island which the navy used for bombing practice and the other is niihau we're going to go over each of these islands individually maui now this island right here is a very tourist and visitor friendly island it's got the most amount of beaches in the hawaiian islands beautiful beaches exceptional snorkeling. They have beautiful helicopter tours. They have Mount, Mount Haleakala, where you can see the sun come up in the morning. They have Hana, which is exceptional. The road to Hana is beautiful. They have the waterfalls for you to swim in there. So definitely Maui is one of the options for Hawaii. This is the island most people think of when they think Hawaii. It has Honolulu, Waikiki, Pearl Harbor, the big tourist attractions. It also has the North Shore where the surfers are and your surfing competition. But keep in mind, that's where your nightlife is, but that's where your biggest crowds are going to be, your biggest crowded beaches. Big Island, better known as Hawaii. Now, Big Island is very welcoming to tourists and visitors. Starting from the east, which is the windward side, you have the city of Hilo. And it's got a lot of culture to it. It's got the waterfalls, it's got the black sand beaches. To the south, okay, the south rim, you have the green sand beach and some other beautiful black sand beaches. Working our way over to the west side, which is known as the leeward side, you have Kona. Now that's where it has all of your mm, stuff you want to do, your snorkeling, your helicopter tours and everything. And it has some beautiful white sand beaches over there. It's a uh, accommodations range between basic to kind of higher level, you know, accommodations. Up at the top of the island, the North Shore, absolutely gorgeous. In the center of the island, you have Waimea, which is green pastures and you get beautiful views of the island. We recommend you get a rental car and take time on each side of the island. 
Big Island is a good choice for either your first time to Hawaii or revisiting. Nepali Coast. Up at the north they have those beautiful sea cliffs. They also have Hyena State Park, Hanalei Bay, Ka Beach, some gorgeous sights to see. If you go down south they have Poe Pu Beach. Great accommodations. This island is very tourist friendly. Reasonably cost. You could do about anything you want there. Farmers markets but really no nightlife. Now, Molokai is an island. It's basically a small island where the residents are kind of reserved here, okay? It's got some beautiful beaches, but the current can get a little high and they are tough to swim in sometimes. Now, if you want to come and embrace the Hawaiian culture, this is the island for you. Do they have all the kind of stuff that you would see maybe in Oahu or in Maui? No, they don't. There's basically no nightlife on the island. And um, it's just kind of a really nice island where, you know, you're going back in time. And they work hard to preserve that. So, I mean, it is a beautiful island. Now this is the island that's 98% owned by Larry Ellison. The center of the island basically looks like... <laughs> Lanai'i is a small island off the coast of Maui. It's owned 98% by Larry Ellison. And the center of it is Lanai'i City. It looks like a town out of maybe Oregon with its pine trees and stuff. You wouldn't even believe you're in Hawaii when you see it. There is two resorts on the island that are owned by Mr. Ellison, but they are very high priced. Last I heard was around $2,500 a night. It does have some exceptional beaches though to it. And it's got some incredible snorkeling on the uh, south side between there and Molokini. So, hmm, Lanai, a good one to travel, but I wouldn't put it down as your major island. Now, Nihihau was purchased back in 1864 by the Sinclair family. And the family still to today, the Robinsons, still maintain the island and own the island. This is a 100% owned island. Travel to is highly restricted. As a matter of fact, unless you are a native to this island, you cannot go there. Except, they offer a tour of about six people. It's a very small tour to exercise the, the island's helicopter and stuff we'll put the link in there for you to go see it you can step on the beach and go have a great day there but Nihihau is not one of your majors to visit just something kind of neat to do when you're on the island of Kauai La 
Suave. Now, this is known as the bombed island. The military used this island for their bombing range for several years until the 1990s, I believe, when the Ohana, the Hawaiian people, and their families decided to go ahead and petition the government to get this back. So, travel this island is under a 100 year restoration, is prohibited. There is a way onto it if you volunteer, but for the most part, though, travel is very restricted to this island. We hope this video was helpful in choosing your next Hawaiian island. Helping you figure out what to expect, what island you're best suited for. Please feel free to leave comments, let us know what islands you've been to, or any questions that you may have about any of the islands. Mahalo. Aloha.